Hey everyone, it's Larry here at LC Model Shipbuilding. Uh, been a long time since we worked on this one, so um, we're gonna start putting this uh, to bed here. I still got two more videos for Titanic coming out, and then there'll be a Maiden Voyage video probably. Um, just ran into a couple problems, uh, ended up doing a motor swap. So I wanted to get back to building, so here we are with uh, Constitution. Um, this episode, we're going to get the, uh, the rear boats on, so the, uh, jolly boat and the cutter, um, and then, uh, we do a couple other, uh, what else? Uh, oh, we get all the, uh, rest of the crew on, so thank you very much for tuning in. Sorry this has been so long, um, this has been over a year since I made, uh, the last video on this build, but, um, yeah, kind of got wrapped into Titanic, and, uh, here we are, so... Um, again, thank you very much for watching. Let's get started. Okay, so it has been a while. Um, we are going to go ahead and work on getting this finished up. So, um, first thing I'm going to do, I did start to do some of the, um, the, uh, what do you call it, rat lines here. And you can see, um, they're there. I don't like how much you can't see them, so I think I'm actually going to go back over them with a little bit thicker of a thread, um, and then obviously continue on with them because they need to go up there and up there and then over here and down here, so they all need to be done. But before I do any of that, I think what I'm going to do is finish up the, um, the crew, so... Um, I'm not going to have them at every single station. Like, I'll leave a couple of the cannons here and there not used. But um, I want to get, you know, some more on there. And then we have uh, the lifeboats. And it looks like I need to glue that and that back down. Got bumped, apparently. But, um, yeah, I want to get the lifeboats uh, mounted up. And then we will move back into doing, like I said, the rat lines and the, um, the, uh, final parts of rigging. So I'm imagining this will be, um, two videos basically till this is all said and done. Um, just kind of going over it though, because, uh, it's been a while since this has been on video, but, um, yeah, that's pretty much how we're looking. Um, as we sit, we have our lines here that end up coming out to these. Um, so we'll get them tied down and all that good stuff. But uh, still a fair amount to do. I mean, there's not a ton to do, but a fair amount. So those of you that subscribed to the channel um, last year when I was building this, uh, I do appreciate it. And I apologize for how long it took to get back to this. Um, I did pretty much just finish Titanic, which was an extremely, um, aggressive build. So, um, yeah, it's kind of exciting to get back and try to get this one finished up. So I'm going to pause it and we're going to get some of our figures. Okay, so I'm going to just kind of start with painting, um, these. Now, uh, I did kind of over the year here, um, find some newer paints that I like a lot better than... What I was using back when I did these uh, the first time around, so I'm now using a uh, what do you call it um, Vallejo paint, uh, which I really have liked how well Vallejo has worked, um, both airbrush and even brushing. So pretty satisfied with that. Um, the other thing I'll have to hit these with some uh dull coat because you can probably tell that the jackets are gloss so apparently last year i didn't have any flat blue and uh i painted these with gloss which that's not going to work um so i'll just hit them with some dull coat and they should be fine um these figures uh i really haven't advertised them in a while but um, I do still print them, so if anybody is interested in a set, uh, they are 20 for, I think it's like 60 figures. I generally use 
I think it'll take about two two sets to get through um, how many people I want on it anyway. Now, obviously, if you want the upper decks, um, or the, I'm sorry, the lower decks, and then you're going to need more people. But uh, I think for the upper deck, two sets is pretty much what would look about right. So I'm going to work on painting these up, and then um, we'll start to get them glued down onto the deck. And, I mean, like I said, I just want to get everything glued down um, that's going to need to be glued before I really start uh, going after more rigging right now. Um, just because uh, I remember how challenging it is to get in there and especially with how much rigging is on it already. Um, any kind of movement on the deck obviously is going to have to be done with some care at this point so yeah so i'm going to finish up painting the white on them and then uh i'll get the skin color on them and then i'll do some black for the boots and the hats and all that good stuff and uh and we'll get them glued on so let me pause it for a moment here and we will be back. Okay, so you can see here, I got them all painted up. There's quite a few, um, but uh, yeah, they're all in uniform and they look pretty good all in all. So what we're going to do, I'm gonna bring the ship back over here and uh, just kind of put a pile of them here, I guess. I'm just trying to figure out the best way to do this um, because it is a little big. So, what we're going to do then, I'm just going to start up towards the bow. Hopefully, I mean, I won't do a whole lot of filming of me putting crew members on, but I'll do a little bit so you can kind of I guess see it I mean not that it's overly a big challenge but uh what I generally do with the this type of thing um I'll make a puddle of glue and then basically just drop them into the glue like the feet and uh then I'll stick them on board and will be there so that's the plan anyway so these guys there's some random guys so we're gonna just kind of put them walking towards the carronades Usually I would hit this with my accelerator that I have upstairs from Titanic, but uh, I'll get that in a minute here. Because otherwise this will take forever. Just getting them to uh, stand, but I'll at least set up one, one setup here. And of course I'm going to knock him over. that guy has kind of a flint there in his hand you can see it extended this guy has a bucket so that's a water bucket he must have got just a touch too much glue on him so no matter what he don't want to stand And then this guy has a cannonball that he's carrying, so he's going to be walking up 
behind here. And then we'll get a new captain. I guess he's a captain. Whatever. I think they're a captain. I've forgotten my terminology from Constitution. Unfortunately. Okay. Then we'll get one of these guys that has the... Uh, I keep calling it a spoon, but it's not a spoon. Maybe it's a spoon. I need to get that yard arm over here for right now. Okay. And then we got the guy that has the swabber to swab out the barrel after it shoots. I'll just put him here. Okay, and that's our first set. So I'm gonna run upstairs here and uh, grab my accelerator so I can get the rest of these guys all glued on. And then uh, I'll come back and after we get them taken care of here, we'll, uh, we'll continue on probably with the aft lifeboats next. Um, I wanna get them on and they're already painted up so literally just going to be a matter of gluing them down and rigging them up now one thing i did and this was mainly just uh to give a little bit of contrast to these guys um I did make some African-American uh, sailors here too. So that kind of helps give a little bit of um, distinction and difference. And there definitely would have been some on the ship. So I don't know. I didn't do a whole, whole lot because I don't know how many. But on a crew of 400, I know for sure there was definitely African Americans that uh, sailed on in this great ship and, and helped helped us fight the war. So they should be included. But anyway, let me go get some accelerator and I'll be back. Okay, so this is kind of an overview. Just uh, kind of shows you what it looks like with a crew on there. Um, it definitely brings a lot of life to the ship. Uh, it definitely looks like there's actual things happening and all that kind of stuff going on. So anyway, really, really happy with how they turned out. So um, I do have one more set of the crew that came with, uh, came with the ship. I got to paint them up and then I got the guys that can climb up um, the rat lines. So, you know, I'll have some of them going up this way and all that good stuff once I get them uh, once I get them tied in but um, I got them from a guy an extra set from a guy on the uh, Facebook page here before I ended up uh, printing my own um, but what's good about his he has the officers and all that good stuff and uh, I don't print them currently right now I am working on them I just haven't gotten there yet so maybe uh, maybe now at Titanic's over I can kind of get back into doing some of this kind of stuff anyway um, moving on uh, so next up we're going to put on our stern lifeboat and there's one that goes over here and one that goes over there I do have to re-glue this quick too um, that obviously got bumped or something so I'm gonna glue that on before I uh, get these lifeboats set up so I'll glue that and then I'll get the pieces out for that. Um, here are our lifeboats. So like I said, they're all painted up and ready to go. 
Um, and we just got to put the uh, davits on and uh, fix this. So let me work on that. And okay, so first thing we got to do is cut off these um, these eyelets here. And we're going to just go ahead and put them in. I guess I don't actually have to cut them, as you just saw. They're coming off on their own accord pretty easily. So we're going to just dip that in some CA. And I'm leaving it long intentionally, so it has a little bit more to uh, grip onto. And then we're just going to drop that into the life, or not the lifeboat. I guess it's a jolly boat and a cutter. So try to use correct terminology getting back to this as much as possible anyway. So these go in and then B blocks get attached to them. So I'm going to go ahead and just do all three right now just so they're done. kind of weird being back on this uh, build after over a year. Um, and again, I do apologize to the people that have watched all 15 of the videos just to kind of come to a dead end. So we will rectify that and we will come to a conclusion on this. Now I am still filming some Titanic as we go here too because uh, I've been out sailing that um, kind of going through sea trials with it I've had some interesting issues I'll put it that way I caught a I caught a dead fish last night with it and uh, the line actually pulled up into the props and the props shredded it um, and then they knocked the, uh, the prop off of the, uh, coupler inside, so I had to put that all back together. Luckily, no damage to the ship, but, uh, that was interesting. I was not expecting the dead fish, um, especially caught onto the line. But, uh, yeah, I guess something new to learn. Um, but I also did a motor swap on it, too, because I had motors that were too powerful for the build so there's been some learning curve to it but uh we're getting there so i will still be putting out some videos on that um probably another three to go on titanic uh two of them are already shot and then uh yeah this is going to be two to three i'm pretty sure although it's going to be a long process on this because just getting the um, the uh, rat lines done is going to be a long process, I think. But we'll get there. So I'm going to use a... I don't want to go real thick on this thread. But these would have been tan, so we'll use tan. It's been a while since I've done this, but uh, should be like riding a bike, hopefully. So we're going to tie around the block. I want to make sure I get that centered. Okay, and then I'm going to pull that down. And just like we did with all of the other blocks earlier, we're just going to hit a dab of glue there on the end. 
our toothpick. Okay, now we're going to tie that onto the end here. It's been so long since I've tied many knots. I mean, I did a little bit of rigging on Titanic, but not much. Not in comparison to this. Okay. So now I'll just cut that. I gotta get my small scissors. I'm not gonna be happy with that. So, let me find them. This will work too, for now. Okay, now. I'm only doing the tie in right now because I don't want to do it once it's on the ship if I can avoid it. Just because that'll be one more knot that I gotta tie and try to get around things with. So. Yeah, I definitely gotta run up and get my scissors. I'm not gonna play that game the whole time. Okay, and do probably about that length. Should be more than enough. So I'm gonna go ahead and do the exact same thing uh, five more times. So I'll pause it while I'm doing that and uh, then we'll be back. So, stay tuned. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and put on the rear boat. And to do that, we have two they're beams, basically. I mean, they're not really beams, but they're, I wouldn't call them a davit. But um, they basically pass through here and then glue onto the side right there. And I'm going to hit that with accelerator because I want to also try to bring in that railing a little bit better. I did go ahead and make it so that the rear does not come down anymore. So um, I can't really ever see a time that I'll display it with the back down. So there really just didn't seem to be a point. Okay, and what we got to do then is glue our um, yeah, get these glued in. Obviously, sorry, I lost my train of thought. And then we got to tie off onto these to then attach to the. Uh, to the um, cleat that is right inside here 
on the inside of the uh, bulk, bulk work there. Come on. Just trying to get that to where I like it. There we go. Okay. All right, so this is tied and basically there's a little, um, I don't know if you can see, I'll try to zoom in. There is a little lip in there, not lip, but a uh, bar that kind of goes across right in there so our thread needs to come up i want to come up on the inside and then back down And now we're going to go into our pull, or not pulley, but our, uh, our um, block here. <coughs> Sorry. Losing train of thought. I haven't used these in a long time, so I'm going to get these out too. I forgot about all the fun with rigging. I'm going to bring that just so it's about under the name plate, which I know you can't really see right now. And then that goes back up through that beam there. I'm trying not to get it too tangled around here. just tie on to the cleat on the inside I believe I'm just double checking yep and that's it and we do the exact same thing over on the other side I'll go through the or under that one I forgot how tight these spaces were. <clears throat> okay. Now, I don't want to try to do a second knot on that, so I'm just going to hit it with a dab of glue. And there we go. So I'm going to go ahead and do the other side real quick. Um, which 
literally is the exact same process. And then we'll put on the two uh, jolly boats, as they're called in the directions. I don't know if that's what they're really called, but I'm just reading the direction. Oh, I have a feeling I was supposed to take that thread through that little hole on the other end of this beam, but uh, I didn't. I'll do it on this one. that through. Let's bring this one down. Okay, that seems to be pretty much where I want it. Okay, so just make sure this is kind of level. Yeah, pretty good. Okay, so now we go back up one more time. On the other, or yeah, for the side jolly boats we'll only do one of them on video because they're the exact same thing if I can get in there <clears throat> sorry there we go Just gotta tie onto that cleat and we're done with this boat. That sail really makes it easy to see this. <laughs> Bit of sarcasm there.
Okay, there we go. Finally. All right, so I'm going to pause it, get the parts ready for this, and we'll be back. Okay, so sorry. I know that was kind of in the way, but I essentially did the same thing over there that I did over here. So we're going to go ahead and get the davit arms on, and they're all the same piece for both sides, so you can't really screw that up too bad. Um, and they simply glue right into the side of the hull here. That one's in. And the other one's kind of back behind that piece of rigging just a little bit. So you gotta kind of bump it over to get that in. See the hole. I have a little piece of thread there that's in the way that is affecting my ability to get it in. Okay, so try this again. There's either need to trim this down a little, I guess, or the hole isn't big enough. Flashing, gotta love it. There we go, that seems to be better. Alright, so now we start with a thread on this eyelet here. This one's a little bit more complex than the rear boat. Because this has two different sets of strings that you run. And this one is all connected too. So there we go. Okay, now I'm going to have to make this a little bit longer than I usually would. 
so you come up to our first eyelet here. Oh, you know what? No, that just runs one one, one across to the other. So this isn't very hard. There's two eyelets, or not two eyelets, but two holes in the uh, davit. So you have the one that runs across here, and then that just ties onto this eyelet over here, which is behind the mainmast uh, That, that just simplified this a lot. Okay, so we're going to tie that on. Yeah, I'm actually going to do rope number two first also before we put the boat up. Sorry, I was reading. Okay, so our next one here, um, I'm going to tie it on to the top the davit doesn't make a heck of a lot of sense though to do that do the large holes and tie but that's what it says to do. I'm sure somebody will correct me if I'm wrong, but I'm just going by kind of what it says here. Okay, now there's supposed to be an eyelet up in um, the... Uh, platform up above so I need to put one of them in I'm using the smaller eyelets for this okay so I got my eyelet up there um, it's basically just in the hole that I had in the uh, in the platform in an earlier video. Um, now this is going to have to slip through the lines. I'm just trying to figure out my best spot to do that. Which I'm hoping is here. Yeah, that'll actually work. Okay, so now I gotta just slip it through the eyelet and we're on our way. Sorry, filming this is a challenge when it comes to all the rigging. 
So I'm doing the best I can with it. But I remember having these challenges before too, so. Okay. So there we go. That's through that. And then it comes down to itself essentially. So I need to bring another rope up here to tie onto it. So we're going to tie another one onto the top here. Uh, now, that needs to tie on to the other rope, basically. Yeah, because this goes down to pin 136. Okay, so I'm going to cut this. <clears throat> We're going to find pin 136, which is on the little tree there, right behind the wheel, which I doubt you can probably see on camera, so just kind of explaining it. Okay, so after struggling with that for a few minutes, I finally got it. Um, now we need to bring this rope from the top of the davit up to the other rope and tie it on. That one disconnected. Okay, well, no worries right now. So we're going to basically kind of tie it right around the one that we already have here. Okay, so... There's that. I'm definitely going to put a drop of glue on there so it don't come off. Okay. There we go. Now, I think just because it's going to be easier to retie a new one, I'm just going to do that and be done with it. I don't usually do this, but 
I glued the hole shut and I'm not going to mess with trying to drill that back out and the 10 minutes that it'll take to do it. I'll just put some black paint around it and the tie from the first one is still there so you'll be able to see it'll look like it isn't actually tied. I mean that it is tied. Whatever you Okay. So now we go back up through I must not have glued it when I tied it over there to the eyelet. So, sorry, you get to see it all over again. We're almost there. So once we get this done, now it's just a matter of getting the boat tied on. And that's pretty much going to wrap up the video once that's done. Yay. Okay. Onward and upward. So, now we can get the boat tied on and pretty much done. So, we're just going to tie that around the block. Okay, now go through the front hole here, and we're going to come down the same way through the eyelet, not the eyelet, but the uh, block. <coughs> And to finish it, it ties onto the cleat on the back of the, uh, the, um, davit there. Although I should have came in through the other side. Like that.
but I made a mistake. If I did that, it would have had a cross in the middle of it, which would have looked funny. So you got to make sure you're going in the right direction here with these. There we go. And that's about the height that I want right there. So now we're just going to make our tie for the cleat back here. Okay, so there we go with that. Now let me. Uh, oh, I didn't tie a. I didn't tie a um, block on there. So I'm gonna pause it for one second while I tie a block on and finish getting this up, and then we'll finish up. <laughs> 